I love people asking me questions about Flat Earth. Of course, many are confused. They, they think they know everything. When all you need to do is speak to a Flat Earther. And he knows everything. <laughs> We have made it simple for people to understand. And if you don't understand flat earth, you can't comprehend that we live on a flat land. We're covered with a dome. And there is no space. And we're stationary, not moving. Then move along with your life. Enjoy yourself living on this fantastic spinning wet ball in space that's floating <laughs> up there in the universe that could quite possibly one day, one day could be hit by a meteor or could be devastated by an earthquake. So long, Earth. Thanks for the air and whatnot. And that's the war you'll have to live with. But you see, us flat earthers don't give a shit about that because we know it's not true. We know it's bullshit. All of it. Oh, really? <laughs> In 1969, we had a mission called the Apollo 11. <clears throat> we supposedly um, rocketed off this spinning wet ball onto a moon. That would be our satellite in space. And while that's revolving around. Now think of the mathematical computations for this. Math? How am I supposed to know that? I, I mean, really, think, think of it. So you're revol we're revolving a thousand miles per hour. And we're shooting off a rocket. So why are we curving? Why is every single rocket curved? Don't you think that we just have to go straight up there? Why is a rocket trajectory curved after launch? So let's get started. Short answer, because they want to get into the orbit around the Earth using as little fuel as possible. A rocket loses a great deal of its energy as a result of air resistance, and it needs to make sure that it attains a high enough altitude when most of its fuel is used up. The main objective of most rockets is to reach the planet's orbit and stay there. In the planet's orbit, the gravitational tug of the planet is high enough to keep the rocket from drifting off into outer space, and low enough so the rocket doesn't have to burn huge amounts of fuel to keep itself from plummeting back to Earth. To enter orbit, a rocket begins to tilt onto its side at first, and gradually increases this tilt until it achieves an elliptical orbit around Earth. In a nutshell, a rocket must curve its trajectory post-launch, if it wants to enter the Earth's orbit. If it didn't do that and continued to go straight up, it would eventually reach a point where its fuel would run out and, most likely, it would end up plummeting back to Earth like a stone. But no, it, it doesn't. It, it curves. And that was the thing that, in when I saw the um, Challenger, that space bullshit nonsense, and half of them are still alive, oh, that's right, they are. What? They are, yeah. There's only one guy we can't find where he is, but the other ones are alive. One's a professor, still teaching. Great story. Compelling and rich. Because it's all bullshit. It's all a show for you. When I grew up, the solar system was stationary. All right, honey, come on. The sun was standing... Why don't you stop this bullshit? Uh, I Idiot. Can you give me like five minutes? No, you've had the all morning, and I'm just freezing, and I'm hungry, and I'm... One of these days, Alice, one of these days. Yeah, yeah, I know, Ralph, right to the moon. 